single piece of merchandise. It's the American... Why, hello. We got the Second Amendment for a reason, don't we? what I want. Trust for a price that's reasonable. Hello, hello. How do you do? Welcome to my establishment. Howdy, mister. Everything here is proudly made right here oh, in the right USA. He gonna fashion me a new plow. Give up the horn, the whiskey, and you will be safe. All to you, you have taken the way of change, of sin. Bow down, and you will not perish. If your name is not written in the book of life, you are.
Why, thank you. You're welcome here anytime. Howdy. Howdy, friend. I got stock of them electric belts if you need to lose weight. Hmm, I wonder what I need. Any meds, laudanum, adrenaline, or pills, come see me. I hope that helps. I wish I was dead. I don't believe in any of this bird treasure at Rio Del Lobo nonsense. Any trouble, let me know. Huh. Darn newcomer. What's going on? That's all of it, sir. Best be going. Take care of yourself and that liver. I wish I was dead. Stand by and let them terrorize these tanks. Get the hell out of my way! Hey! That is the last one I'm hoping to watch. Harley bears the feet and do it. Yourself, it's the American way. The marshal best step up post haste. Men starting to question his. How are you, mister? You surely won't regret a purchase. I'm thinking that were mutually beneficial. That's what I need.
to hear about some foolishness i heard something so dumb you wouldn't credit a man capable this fella turns up on the train what's he here for why nothing less than to kill bill williamson so what does he do he rides out to that fort all on his lonesome and starts yelling out it ended pretty much as you'd expect except that he survived young bonnie helped him out some fool shut your lip well, if I know anything, it's what happened yesterday. He ain't got much to say about tomorrow. I bet that one changes every time you tell it, partner. Goodbye. Excuse me, Mr. Marston. Have you seen my father anywhere? No. He went out this morning to ride the land and was supposed to be back hours ago. I don't know. The ranch hands have been out looking, but so far they've found nothing. Well, come on. Let's go look for him. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I'm sure it's nothing, but I worry about the old fool. this. It's not like him to be away for so long. Don't worry. We'll find him. He's not as young as he used to be. What if he's hurt himself? Your father can still handle himself just fine, Miss McFarland. He's built like an oak. You're probably right, but I can't help worrying. He's all I've got. Don't you have any brothers or sisters, Miss McFarland? I had six brothers. 
others, but five of them died, either from sickness or foolish choices. And the other one? He left for the east and never came back. Must be getting on for 10 years ago now. He's a high and mighty banker in New York, according to his last letter. He should be here, helping you and your pa. I don't want his help. He can live his life any way he wants. But when I see those city fellers coming in on the railway, all dressed up like a sore toe, I fear a little for his soul. He switched his saddle for a tie, and that's fine. I just never met a man in a tie I could trust. Look, I think I see someone. Nothing nice. Wrestlers, I guess. Maybe the baller twins, that bunch. Now, you head back to the ranch right now and fetch the wagon. Yes, sir. Marston, you watch after her. I'll do that, sir. Get up! Let's go. Idiot. What could have happened to those poor men? And their horses were dead, too. I think we should get back there as soon as we can. Who could have done something like that? Your boss seemed to have an idea who it was. Let's just do what he says and get the wagon. Damn rustlers, I've got a good mind to head over to Pike's Basin myself. I don't think that's a good idea. And you're no better. How many men have you killed? Do you really want to know? It's disgusting. You never met the men I killed. I heard the way you talk about that gang you were in, like there was some twisted morality to what you did. We all have a code. Only some of us don't realize The outlaw it. with the code? How wonderfully romantic. The reluctant murderer, the noble criminal. There's nothing more depressing than a man who's found a way to think the bad into good. You're upset, but... Oh, my God! The barn's on fire! Sure know how to handle yourself. Thanks, Marston. Yes, John, thanks. You, well, you saved the ranch. If you'll excuse me, I, I've got chores to attend to. Hey, wh hold on a second over there. Sincerely, John, thank you. Well, I did all I could, Miss McFarland. Sorry about all the damage. That gang seems to really want you out of here. Yeah, well, my father fought Indians. 
I scarcely think we're gonna be frightened by some white trash. White trash can be pretty frightening. Well, they don't frighten me. Good. John, my family owes you a great debt. I think you got enough debt. You saved my life. All I ask of you is this. If I get back home and get my farm started back up, you'll sell me some cattle. I prefer doing business with people I know. Of course, Mr. Marston. It'd be my pleasure. Um, well, you get some rest. I've got to go see how my father's bearing up.
Grab it and shit himself again. You want a gambling? Yeah. Let's see how my luck is. Or not. Interesting. You that Jimmy Fowler's become trouble again. Hello. I see the way he looks at my wife. That weren't worth cleaning the wax I'm gonna from feed my ears. Full. He's Thanks just an style. underprivileged Hello. hoodlum. Well, whoopsie. I got a good wife. A good, good wife. She loves me. I ain't gonna make it easy for you. I heard another train got raided on Butter Bridge. Some luck, mister. Let's clean this dealer out. What you doing around here? No, nah, this hand's pretty. Master Johnson's been digging around here some. Give me another. That deal almost ruined me. Well, whoop dee doo. Gonna kill you. A big man like you could do whatever he likes to a little girl like me. Shit. Well played, I guess. Good luck. Let's go. Big, strong man Let me see it. Go Another for wagon it. got robbed near Mescalero yesterday. Good to see you. Hey, you're fine. You'll believe guy. anything I say because Double I'm down for me. That weren't worth cleaning the wax from me. That's gotta hurt. Stay. Hold there. Hit me. What a pile of trash. That Drew McFarland's been causing trouble again. Hey, how's it going? Hello. Contract I need more. That's what I like to see. I need more. Hello, hello. Nah, this hand's pretty. Double. I'll stay. I'm gonna beat ya. Same start. How, you doing? How are you? Uh, hello. I'll take one. You know that old timer don't shit himself again. Stan. Hello. That's great. Thank you. Interesting. I think I'm gonna go spend some of my winnings. You want a gambling move, son? You mind if I sit on your knee? My legs are getting real Ain't you a rude son of a bitch.
won't keep me from my business. Hello there. I see David's bones bleaching in the sun if he keeps taking pot shots at me. Looking showgirls come around. That should keep me going for a while.
up with Baldwin. I ain't in the mood for John. Over that trail again. Ain't gonna be nothing left when I'm done with you. I heard another train got raided on Butter Bridge. Don't see why not. Let's get this show on the road. I call. Your choice, my friend. I'm going to check. Okay then, I'll place a bet. I think I'll raise. Seems like you was weaned too soon. Thanks. Uh. Master Johnson's been digging around here some. Don't worry. I'll be back for more of your money soon enough.
This is mighty generous of you, mister. Telling you a man like that is worth his weight in gold on a ranch. And that's experience talking. Is it true? That was good to hear. I do wonder how much these things change in the telling. <coughs> if only it was true, my friend. Goodbye. Why not? I like watching a man eat his words. That's better. I guess my sights are out of line. 